In this silk test video, we'll show you how you can use your functional tests for load testing. We'll demonstrate how to export a silk test keyword driven test to silk performer and how to execute it as a load test. But first, let's discuss why reusing functional tests is useful anyway. Over the last couple of years, there's been the tendency to shorter and more frequent release cycles in the software industry. Test engineers well know that this also results in tighter testing cycles. Using your existing functional tests, not only for functional testing, but for load testing as well, can save you a lot of time. Silk Test now allows you to easily export your tests to Silk Performer, where you can reuse them for load testing. This tight Silk Test Silk Performer integration offers two more major benefits. Silk Test users can easily enter the world of load testing by turning just a couple of knobs in Silk Performer. And Silk Performer users can make use of Silk Test's browser support for Firefox, Chrome, and Phantom JS. Let's see how we can put this whole idea into practice. We're starting in Eclipse with a Silk 4J keyword driven test, which we have prepared in advance. Not the small set of keywords on the top right. And also note that we've created this properties file for the test, which holds a user and a password parameter. We'll hand over these parameters to Silk Performer in a moment. All we have to do now is to click the Silk 4J icon and export as performance tests. This launches Silk Performer and the import dialog for keyword driven test displays. We want Silk Performer to put the test parameters in a CSV file and reference the file in the script. The datasets in the file shall be selected randomly and we want the test to be executed within Firefox. Note that we also have Chrome and Phantom JS available. Silk Performer now creates this BDL script, which can be considered a script stub since it only contains a few BDL functions. This is the reference to the compressed Silk Test files. And here is the reference to our CSV file. You can also find the two files under the data files node. When we open the CSV file, we can add some more datasets to our parameters. We're starting a trial run to verify that the imported script works properly. Firefox starts and the script is being executed. The try script summary page shows that no errors occurred. Now continue to follow the workflow bar to configure the load testing according to your needs. We're going through these steps rather quickly. On the workload configuration dialog, we're defining to execute three virtual users. To start one virtual user every five seconds and to run the simulation for one minute. When we start the load test, we can see that three Firefox instances are launched, one after the other and that the test is being executed in parallel within a single Windows session. By the way, make sure that Silk Test is installed on the computer you are using for execution. When the run is completed, the load test summary page displays. To use a different browser for the load test, open the profile settings, click GUI level testing and the execution tab and switch to another browser. Also, you can create additional profiles, set different browsers for each profile and execute the test on different browsers in parallel. Whether you're a Silk Test or a Silk Performer user, make sure to try out the new export feature to unleash the full potential of a combined functional and load testing strategy with Silk. To not miss any upcoming Silk Test videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit microfocus.com for more information around Silk Test and make sure to explore our support and services site, which provides a ton of useful information. Thanks for watching.